All right, so this is going to be a really quick review on the blood flow through the heart to the rest of the human body. You could think of the heart like a pump that pushes blood to the different parts of the body. It is composed of four chambers separated into the right and left side. The right side pumps blood to the lungs, while the left side pumps blood to the rest of the body and other organs. As I said before, the heart is composed of four chambers, and it might be helpful thinking of them as four boxes, like you see here in this schematic. Of these four chambers, there are two atria and two ventricles. In a normal heart, the atria always pump blood to the ventricles, and the ventricles pump blood into arteries, moving blood away from the heart. So looking at this in more detail, there is a right atrium and right ventricle, and a left atrium and left ventricle. The right and left sides of the heart are physically separated from each other. So to make things easier to understand, let's separate them on our schematic. In order to illustrate the flow of blood more clearly, let's follow this red blood cell through the entire circulation. First, blood flows into the right atrium, which is then pumped into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then pumps blood towards the lungs. Blood from the lungs returns back to the heart into the left atrium. The left atrium pumps blood into the left ventricle, and from the left ventricle, the heart pumps blood to the other organs and to the rest of the body. From here, blood will return back to the right atrium and will continue in this circle again.